Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, I'm a glow for enthusiast, and I'm also into um, the devil's lettuce. If you're not into that, you know what? That's fine, but maybe someone you love is, and this is a project that you can make them, or you can make for yourself, but either way, you're getting free files. Look, I was going to do a tutorial on how to prep the files for something like this. Um, Colin will have some sort of like a uh, sped through video of me working on it. But let me tell you, I had a I, I had a difficult time because of the amount of layers. But today we're working on this really fun ashtray project. And at first it was just gonna be an ashtray and then it was gonna be ashtray shaped like a heart. And then I said, oh my gosh, how fun would it be if it was an ashtray shaped like a heart, but a broken heart. And like you could take two pieces apart so that if both of you are smoking, you have your, each have your own ashtray. And I, I love my boyfriend so much. I'm obsessed with him and we smoke uh, the devil's lettuce together. And so it reminds me of him sometimes. And I'm thinking, look, if we're smoking together, where it's a whole heart, but if it's a part, it's broke. I don't know, I think it's cute. So um, let me show you the final product. Oh, with the power of television, it's right here. Um, how cute. Now, by the way, it's still drying. I sealed it with Mod Podge. If you don't like the look of the Mod Podge, which can come off a little thick, you could spray it with an actual like acrylic or wood sealant or something that you like, but Mod Podge, I just want it to be waterproof, something I could rinse out. I'm not making something you know, completely fireproof because I don't intend to leave fire in it, but something I can a little bit of ash. So it looks like this when it's all together. And then you see, you can take out each little piece. So I'll walk you through the process in just a second. But honestly, I was a little bit skeptical when I cut it out, but let me go back. I got a bunch of pieces of wood. Now you could do one color wood. You could do mixed wood. I did two different ones so you could see options. Just kidding. I fucked up and I grabbed the wrong pieces, but who cares? Now you have options. You see that you could do it like this, you know, walnut maple or walnut poplar or this one where you just go one walnut. You know, it looks like one maple, maybe two poplar, or you could be better at your job. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, you're gonna put your wood in the uh, Glowforge. Now I went ahead and set my um, settings to the hardest wood I had. And you need to be an adult because I'm talking about arts and crafts. This is a family show and I don't remember if I started recording. I did. Okay, um, so you're going, if you have whatever, your wood is, like if you have a, a maple, that was what I had that was very, very difficult to cut through. I put all my wood at that setting. You could use the Glowforge setting for the wood that you have. If it doesn't go through, just maybe do two passes. If you don't wanna do a lot of science and figure it out yourself, you know that Glowforge at least approved that amount to not catch it on fire or create too much smoke that it's burning through your masking tape or the paper that's on top preventing from the smoke marks. Anyway, you're gonna upload the file that I provided, which will be in the description below to your Glowforge app. And then basically you're gonna cut it out at the settings for whatever material you're gonna use. Once you take it out, be careful. Now I made this one about four inches wide. This is a file that you could copy and paste, like you could copy and grab all the pieces and stretch it out to make it as large as you want. But when you take out these wood pieces, be very careful because they will snap so easily. Once everything's put together and sealed, this is a pretty sturdy, um, it's a pretty sturdy little guy. But before that, it, it, they are very, very delicate, especially depending if you're, I suggest using a hardwood for something like this, but you could absolutely use a plywood. You could use acrylic and do it with, Whatever, I don't, I mean, that might be more flammable. I don't know, do what you want. Some of the outcomes might not be good, but <laughs> that's this channel. Anything could happen, do anything you want. I have no advice to give you. Okay, thank you, goodbye. Okay, no. Um, yeah, so basically you cut it out, be very careful. And then I carefully wood glued these together. Now the woodworking people are all like, clamp it, you know, wood glue clamps. Well, I don't have, clamps anymore because I lost them and the clamps I had I think would be too big so I literally just painted on the wood glue with the paintbrush and then used the back of the paintbrush to kind of press it down and did one layer at a time and I'm sitting here and it looks fine and it worked out fine once everything was glued together and had a chance to dry honestly I did it in the same day like 30 minutes later you could be smart and let it set overnight just to make sure that it's as sturdy as possible for the sanding process and now I did two different things I actually did try it with a real sander that has a flat edge. And I was able to get around all, almost all of these nooks and crannies with a regular sander. But um, I love doing my nails. I only have two done right now. 
can you see? Let's get the people the nails. Because it's on trend. It, it, it's, it's the same hearts. Um, anyway, I have an e-file, and I decided to use my e-file. You could use a Dremel to sand off all of the burned edges away. I kind of wish, looking back, that I would have done the inside, too, because the lack of evenness on the inside kind of gives away that it's not like a real like woodworking, like it's not making real, like it's, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good. So I kind of wish I would have done that, but also I don't have time. This is the laziest craft. Like if you see a craft on this channel, it's for dummies and it was easy. That's why I like y'all being here because I'm not gonna suggest stuff that takes too much time. And Colin was like, oh, this should be about scraps and you should do like only scrap wood. But then I realized if I mess up, I was gonna have to go back and replace it. And if I didn't put it in the right spot and I said, no, this isn't the scrap craft. Because if you're gonna use scraps, honestly, the smaller the craft, the better. And we'll talk more about it later, but. Okay, so me and Colin um, on the Sam uh, Do team just had a very, um, very intense, not intense. We just had a really us conversation about this video was supposed to be focused on using scrap material. But because I have so many different pieces and I have so many different steps, this is not a good project to really try to use your scraps. What you wanna do if you're gonna make a scrap is use, do something small like keychains or earrings. And so I'll do a video about that with some swag we're gonna do for a party. But it was so funny because he's like, no, you could do this and you could use this one. I was like, fuck it, you don't know what it's like to use a glove board. It's difficult. There's steps and there's steps and we're gonna mess up and then we're gonna mess up on scrap and we don't have enough. So um, yeah, thank you. That's why we're doing it this way. So we're using new stuff for this and then we'll come back with something to do with your scraps later. <laughs> This is a lazy space. Anyway, glue it all together, let it set, sand it off the edges, and then I just sealed it with Mod Podge. And I think you could do all kinds of stuff. I think that it could be fun um, to like paint the inside and then seal it. Um, also on the bottom, I plan on maybe putting a piece of felt, um, just hand cutting it in the shape of the heart. Um, or why would I do that when I have a glow forge? Throw in the glow forge, cut it in the shape. I'll put a picture if I do that really soon. So that when it sits on the table, it has a more of expensive feel. Or if you wanted to, you could even do those little like, you know, those clear stickers that go under, Colin, put a picture. Those clear stickers that go under tables, the um, little dots, you know, those clear squishy dots. You could do that on the bottom too, to make it just sit really nicely. And then, yeah, you could just have it. And if you don't smoke, you just give it to someone who does or don't make this craft at all or don't even watch this video. But um, if you did, I'm really appreciate it. Put a little heart in the uh, comment. God. Sorry, my dog is protecting me from harm and she's doing a very good job. It seems that there was a small squirrel outside or some other, oh, I think maybe may a family from down the street. Okay, anyway, uh, put a heart down in the description box if you've gotten this far. And of course, do not pay, do not pay full price for a great board. You can save up to $500 with my code. Um, the, the, all of this, the stuff that you need to make this will be down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. You can always also message me on Instagram. I hope you follow me there for content in between these uploads. And I hope that y'all have been enjoying me being back. I'm so grateful. Yay, Colin for editing. Cause I hate doing all that stuff. Also, he just sits here and yells at me and tells me what to do. Okay. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel to join the Sam do crew. Sam can do crews. Join the Sam crew. Join my family. Join my cult. Be my dad.